why the beauty pageant is not a priority? It is important for no, me. No, I've always told you I wanted you to go to the Yeah, beauty but pageant. you are not paying for it. Like, you know what? I give well, up. Well, I on spoke it. to my Uncle Marco today. And you were talking about me as usual. Are I you going to let me wait. speak? Go ahead. Um, you know, he felt that. You know, I should sign you up for the pageant. I you know it's something that you wanted, and I booked the pageant, and I paid the 1200 fee for the pageant, basically using our credit card, uh, today. You didn't. Yeah. I, 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 paid, I paid the fee. It's already paid for now. You did? Um, but, you know, I, I, I also have some expectations, too, for you. Um, so a couple of things I would like you to do is not to start arguments with me. And the second thing is I would like you not to say hurtful things to me when we are arguing. I don't start arguments. Yeah, yeah, Jasmine, you continue arguing Gino, and that's the problem. Gino, that's why I get mad. You never listen. Yes, I do. For example, look at with the beauty pageant, which I really appreciate. Uncle Marco convincing you. It takes your family, always their parties. No, it doesn't okay, take them. Okay, then I'm here. He reminded me. There you go. I'm 100% sure that if Uncle Marco hadn't put pressure on Gino to pay for the beauty pageant entry fit, he would never done it by himself. That hurts me. It's like he is not treating me as a wife. This is like, I'm give you this, you know, but you have to do this. Like, he's trying to condition me. And this manipulative psychology he's trying to use on me, that is used to train dogs. I'm not a freaking dog. I'm his wife, and he's not God. He's bald men. <laughs>